Hello, today I'm making a video on how to remove a cyclops from a watch crystal. I'm going to uh, get right to it and then the uh, explanation will be afterwards. So here we go. I'm just going to uh, take the watch off of the strap. Uh, you will need a watch vise. Uh, you can get a vise exactly like this very cheaply in uh, watchmaking kits on Amazon. Uh, which I recommend you buy anyway, because they can be quite useful for various different things. Just put the watch in the vise, and open the vise pretty much as far as it will go. Uh, you are going to want to have something soft, um, because <coughs> we're going to use a clamp and we don't want things to get scratched up. Uh, now this is a steel ruler. These are very easy to come by and basically the ideal thing for this job. So what you're going to do is you're going to slip the ruler into the watch vise all the way pressed against this side, the side opposite the nut, if, if you're using this exact vise at least. Uh, and then you're going to place the watch down here. I will have a diagram on the screen so that you understand what's happening. You want this pressed all the way against these bits and you want a gap in between the watch and this here and the ruler pressed all the way against this so what you're doing essentially is you're trapping the uh the cyclops in between the ruler and the case here so once you've got that you're going to put your soft thing on here and you need to clamp this watch down and this is a necessary step um, because otherwise it will just slip out of where you want it to be. So you just want to clamp this watch down securely, clamp it down, nice and secure. And then you simply start to twist this closed. And as long as the ruler is pressed up against the opposite side that the watch is, uh, the ruler will essentially slice off the um uh, the cyclops now this will get quite difficult okay you're going to have to apply a lot of force to this because these uh, cyclops can be stuck on again very 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 uh securely um so eventually when it when you don't think that you can tighten it uh with, with your hand anymore i recommend uh, using something like this just sort of grab it and you know torque it until it pops off or if you have the same kit that I have where, uh, where you got this, it should come with something like this. This is a watch case back opener, but um, luckily this groove here can be used to just uh, sort of hold the wing nut and twist it and torque it until, again, the Cyclops will pop off. There we go. Clamp it. Cyclops has been removed and you can see there is no more Cyclops on the watch. Now there are a number of questions that people ask when they see this method and the first one is you can just uh, take a Cyclops off of a crystal. Um, people seem to think that they are actually part of the, the crystal itself. Um, this isn't true. They are uh, attached with some kind of uh, adhesive. Um, some are much, much stronger than others, though. The second question that people ask is, well, why not just uh, replace the whole um, crystal with one that hasn't got a cyclops? And that is true. Uh, if you can do that and you want to keep the uh, original crystal with cyclops on it, you definitely should do that. If you can get a OEM uh, or OEM-like, um, sort of a verified uh, uh, replacement cheaply, um, but if it's a waterproof watch or a, uh, a, a water resistant watch that you're doing that with, I recommend taking it to a watchmaker um, because if you're installing a watch crystal yourself, you really are not sure about the water uh, resistance at that point. I would take it to a watchmaker. They will not only get the exact correct crystal for it, but they will also uh, be able to install it and, and you'll have some peace of mind as to uh, the water resistance of it. Um, People also ask, well, what if my watch has a bezel? You know, if it's a dive watch and you can't just put the crystal flat against something, 
in that case, I probably would also just take it to a watchmaker, um, get them to uh, remove the Cyclops or get a crystal with no Cyclops on it. Um, because again, if you're uh, removing the bezel yourself, you're going to run into possible issues with water resistance down the line and you just don't want that. Um, now the other method to uh, remove Cyclops with the use of heat. Uh, there's a heat method where you use a lighter or a blowtorch or even a soldering iron to uh, weaken the uh, adhesive on the Cyclops and just um, take it off with, you know, a razor blade. Um, that will work for some watches, but not all watches. This watch, uh, it's a Seiko Alpinist, uh, it did not work. Um, I took a, a blowtorch to it, a lighter and a soldering iron in the end, and it did not work. Um, I've been led to believe that uh, what Seiko uses on this watch is some sort of clear uh, epoxy that j it simply would not come off with heat. And it, when it gets to the point that the watch itself, the entire watch is getting very, very hot to the touch, uh, you're running all sorts of risk. Uh, you're, you're running the risk of, of melting the uh, O-rings in the watch that keep it water resistant. Uh, you're running the risk of uh, uh, heat fatiguing the uh, internal uh, mechanism. You just don't want to take that, that amount of heat to a watch for any amount of time. So if you try the heat method and you're heating up the watch and the watch itself becomes extremely hot, um, you're going to want to stop and try to do a different method. For some watches, the Cyclops will come very, very easily. If you have a lower end Seiko, or a Garni design watch or something, the heat method probably should work after a few seconds of heating. An Invicta watch, it will come off extremely easily. The uh, adhesive that Invicta uses is extremely weak, and just a few seconds with a lighter should uh, remove that. But if you have a stubborn watch like this one, uh, this method is, I believe, the most safe method. And uh, people wonder, is this method really safe? I mean, I'm using a clamp, I'm using a lot of torque. And the, and the answer is yes. I mean you're applying pressure to the side of the watch case and to the cyclops no other part of a watch is is sort of feeling that really high pressure and a, a watch case is made of steel it, it can withstand it very easily um you're not really in danger of damaging the crystal itself uh especially if you have a, a sapphire crystal steel a steel ruler will not scratch a sapphire crystal um and there's no really and there's no danger of shattering it either because the Thing that you're applying pressure to is the cyclops the weakest link in that chain is the adhesive holding the cyclops to the crystal and that's what we'll give up